Hi everybody. So George and I had actually finished up that uh, riveting of the front spar in the last video. And in this video I am Georgeless. So I will be doing all of the front spar riveting to the skins myself. Now it's not uh, that much more difficult doing it by yourself. Thankfully, the flange basically that you're reaching over is roughly the size of my arm. I'm six feet tall and of normal body height, well, relatively. So my arms had no problem getting down uh, to the bottom. That and I have three different bucking bars, <coughs> many with different faceted faces, so getting to any uh, small rivet in a corner wasn't really an issue. As you can see by the quick work I'm making of these. Now these, uh, towards the center area, as you can see, uh, you can see, especially with the blue vinyl removed, you can see where the stringer comes across uh, on top of the front uh, spar and where the ribs come into the center. So that kind of little quadrangle, or uh, quadrant area there, uh, was particularly kind of a little bit of a pain to work with. Uh, it's very small, uh, large bucking bars would not fit. phone fiddling. <coughs> now the front spar itself was relatively easy. Uh, the front spar is just one long U-channel piece of aluminum so all the flanges are in the you know, pointing in the same direction the entire time so it wasn't really that difficult. Uh, where you start throwing into difficulties is doing the ribs because the ribs uh, all face in one direction out so you pretty much can't get to the rivets from one side or another you have to be on one side and as you can tell even in here uh, doing these uh, rivets on the front spar at the end I'm having to do them left-handed definitely something that I needed to practice on the side. Uh, riveting with your left hand is kind of like brushing your teeth with your left hand. Sure, it's fine, but you never know. One day you're just going to jam the toothbrush straight into the top of your roof of your mouth and bleed all over the place. And I expected that too. Uh, with riveting with your left hand uh, wants to slide around more. It's harder to maintain control than it is with your dominant hand. Just one of those things that just takes practice. So I have finished with the front spar and now I'm moving up the ribs, as you can see. Uh, I decided to start uh, with this, uh, with the quadrant area that I was talking about and it can be a little bit of a pain. There's extra stringers, there's uh, different uh, lengths of rivet you need to make sure that you use. Uh, you don't want to overbuck the rivets because you can cause a small dent into the skin. Nothing structurally uh, disastrous, but you know, you want it to be perfect, and sometimes it not always is. I 
And of course, some of those areas, uh, I think in the middle of that quadrant too, you've got a rib, or not, not, th not at the quadrant, but at the front rib level. You're talking about having a skin. You're talking about having your main front spar. You're talking about also having a rib coming down in the front, and sometimes you'll also have a stringer somewhere else. I mean, you can have three or four pieces of metal all stacked up on top of each other. And some of these uh, flanges that you're uh, riveting to, especially here in, this, in the quadrant area, uh, you're talking about some small flanges. And it's imperative that everything be lined up correctly and not forced into place. And this is something I would kind of uh, just mentioned in the last video. If you have to force a piece of metal into place, uh, it's, it's, it doesn't want to be in that position. And that's why bending everything and making sure everything is in the correct position is very important. Uh, forced metal bending, especially in an area of an air, <laughs> well, basically anywhere on an airplane where there's vibrations, you know, that's eventually going to cause uh, fatigue and cracking. And sometimes it's hard to tell, especially when putting these uh, rivets in, whether or not the piece uh, needs to be moved into the proper position, like a little flange just needs to be tweaked or not. Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, I, I, I've uh, had my A&P friend look at it and he said I was doing pretty good. So anyway, on to the next video.